Cole, just, <laughs> just, I mean, he would try and trying to walk slow. It was amazing the difference between us who have the concept. He just would. Like, like, like he didn't have muscle control. It was hilarious. You guys ready to. Yep, we're ready. Let's boogie. All right, let's go, bro. I'm going. And so began our adventure to the ice caves early one Saturday morning with a group of fun-loving Northlanders from Ashland, Wisconsin. After hiking for a few miles down a windy, snow-covered path, we saw the first signs of the ice caves. Large holes where the snow had drifted and formed barricades. We knew we were getting close. As we came upon the first ice scapes, we were taken back by the beauty and immensity of these natural art exhibits. Some of the most notable are the frozen waterfalls that appear in various shapes, colors, and sizes across the red sandstone cliffs. Our group meandered through, exploring everything the caves had to offer. Everywhere you looked, there was some oddly shaped piece of ice with exquisite features demanding a closer examination. This interesting piece of ice was shaped like a slide, and what better way to enjoy it than do just that? As we progressed on our adventure, we found ice that was blue and green, and some almost appeared to glow.
This was my personal favorite cave. As you walked in, you have to crouch down as there are hundreds of icicles hanging from the roof of the cave. The way the light was hitting them, they sparkled. It was kind of like being in a giant chandelier. At the end of our adventure, and with a long hike back to the road, we had plenty of time to ponder all we had seen at the caves. We had a wonderful time and highly recommend anyone to consider making the trip to the caves.